Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add staff members to your EPOS Now Till system. On the left hand side you want to select Manage. Once you select Manage you need to go to the Staff tab and select Staff again. From here you're going to see all of your staff members currently on the till. You can edit these current ones by pressing Edit on the left hand side. Or you can delete the staff member by pressing the red X on the right hand side. Today I'm going to show you how to add a new staff member. At the top right hand corner, press add staff. From here you'll add the name of the username, where they're working, and if they're working at any additional locations. You will also have a tick box to show staff at all locations. And then you need to assign a role to your staff member. The role is what kind of ability they're going to have on the TIL system and what access they're going to be able to have. You can have a passcode for your usernames. You can have as many or as little numbers as you wish. You can even have no numbers if you want to and just press login on the staff screen. You can add a swipe card to a staff member. If you have your swipe card reader set up on the TIL system, Simply tap on the box and then swipe your card. You can also add an hourly rate to each staff member. When they are clocking in and out, you'll be able to track their wages. We're then going to save. I have now added my new staff member to the till system. Now let's go over staff roles. Staff roles are what access they're going to have on the till system. As you can see, there is currently only one role assigned to this TIL system, which is the manager. We can add a new role by pressing add roles at the top right hand corner. From here, we're going to give the staff role a name. Today, I'll just call it supervisor. You can then tick the box of the permissions to allow the user to have different permissions on the TIL system, such as admin, stock options, transactions, discounts, and customers. I'm going to tick a few of each. As you can see, it will break down into additional options that you can tick for the staff members. This is just what access they're going to have on the till, so just choose what you wish. Once we finish, we're going to press add, and this has added our new role to the till system. So there you have it. That is how you add a new staff member and a new staff role to your till system.